Go to CaptainCovis.com. We have a variety of different packages for you to buy from. And if you've been stuck in that fog and that old funk from 2020 and you need a little spice in your life, come see Captain Cobra, baby. Guaranteed to spice up your life. Come see us. I promise you, you'll enjoy it. Well, good afternoon, YouTube. This is going to be our first uh, evening episode that I ever did. So this is going to be a new one on us today. And I have a special guest. That would be my firstborn. And my daughter, Miss Julia Bailey. Tell them hi, Julia. What's going on? Right. We have a fantastic meal plan for y'all today. We're going to have what's called pasta lie. It's kind of like jambalaya, but it's made with pasta. Right? Should be a quick, easy meal. Uh, we're gonna show you how to do that, and I'm gonna have Julia let you know everything you're gonna need to make pasta lye. Let them know, Ju. So first of all, we're gonna start with pasta, obviously. Pasta lye comes with the name. Onions, bell peppers, cooking oil, Captain Cobra's Cajun seasoning. That's what gotta makes it the it. best, gotta have it. Mustard, make your chicken and your pork steak tender, and some good old smoked rabbit old sausage. That's the best. All right, how much meat we got right here? What we got? Couple um, pounds of pork three steaks. pounds of pork steaks, a couple pounds of chicken, got a pound of sausage. Just roughly feed about how many people you say, Jude? Probably about four or five people. Yeah. Six if you're a little girl. We're not little. We're not little. <laughs> All right, like this pasta lie is uh, probably one of the first meals Julia cooked when she was uh, playing softball in Indiana. Brought a little Cajun food up there to everybody. And uh, it's one of the most, uh, one of the favorite things that she cooks that I like the most. So we went ahead and uh, decided to cook that for y'all today. And I know it's gonna be uh, fantastic, right? It's not just gonna be fantastic. Oh. It's gonna be phenomenal. Oh, I, 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 let me show you, let me show you. That's what I'm talking about right here. Let, let, let me give you a little phenomenal. There you go. Yeah, show them how to be phenomenal there, Jew. That's what I'm talking about. All right, good job. Now I'm ready. Now you ready? Let's go, let's get it. Well, let's get to cut. Okay. All right, first thing we wanna do is cut our meat. We can get our meat cut up. I know Julia likes her meat, not big chunks, but not little chunks either, right? So we get our meat cut up, we're gonna get that brown real well. And while I'm browning that meat, or Julia's browning that meat, I'll go ahead and cut some onion and pepper. We're gonna get moving on the, on the meat cut. Cut all our meat up right here. Uh, what we're gonna get Julia to do with her dirty hands is mix the meat, all right? Come on, Let's get dirty up right here. All right, mustard that up. All right, get the mix. Let Julie wash her hands. I'm gonna get her back in there and start browning this meat. All right. Since we're gonna be browning this meat like we would make a gravy or anything else like that, we want to put a little, a little cooking oil in there. My knows I like cooking it all. You like cooking it all? Yeah, what I like you use? I use cooking it all. You know it's cooking it all too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not much. Just to get that going in there. Get our meat going. Okay. And while Julia's browning this meat, I'm gonna help her out be a good dad and uh, cut some onions and bell peppers for her. Get the 
chop them up. Why you cutting them onions? I, I don't, I like my onions cut small. I don't like no big onions in my food. Hanging around on mama too long. Already trying to tell me what to do. <laughs> That's how I cut them anyway. This is the Captain Kobe show. A shot in here right here as you can see we got our our pork and chicken brown and we want to brown that good when you're going to brown this meat it's going to you know put out a lot of water you want to cook all that water out and you want to get this to start browning right when we get to that point where we're going to start browning we're going to add our sausage our uh smoked sausage in there because that doesn't take very long to brown okay What we're gonna do is we're gonna let this all brown together. And once we get to sticking and moving, we're gonna throw our onions in there and let that brown together good. Do you wanna take over this duties? Yes, sir. All right, we're browning up pretty good right here. Come on, I wanna get a shot in here. You about to see this right here where this is all starting to stick. This is all gonna be our gravy for our pasta lye, okay? So instead of putting some water, scratching that pot, we're gonna stick our onions in there, let our onions sweat out. It'll pull all this up and give us a fantastic grill. That's how you do it, Ju? Absolutely, that's how I do it. That's what I'm talking about. Catch me the onions, brother. Fine enough for you? A little enough? These onions are gonna start sweating, releasing that water, and just scratch that gravy right off the bottom. Oh. You see how I can't touch it? I knew I needed to cut the money. You good. Just one. Five on, chef. Five on. See how you got just looking right here? Yeah, that looks good. Look, I want you to notice something. My meat is brown. We got some sear going on right here. We got some green beans on the bottom of the pot. And our chicken is kind of starting to fall apart right here. It's exactly how we want it, right? We're gonna add just a little bit of water just to scratch that bottom. Just scratch that bottom. That gravy is gonna be awesome. All right, what we got here is two kitchen cup, I guess, of water. And as you can see, we have a pretty little gravy right here. Yeah, how about that? It's beautiful. Pretty gravy. So what we're gonna do now is, there's two ways really to do this. You can dump your uh, uncooked pasta in here and add some water. It comes out okay. I find that all of the uh, like the creaminess of the, uh, what you call that? The uh, starches of the noodles stay in there and it kind of makes it too much of a gel. So what I do is I'm gonna ball my noodles on the side. Once they get almost ready, we're gonna dump them in here. Let them soak up the rest of that gravy right in. You have one fantastic pasta line. Right, Ju? Absolutely. Let them know. Okay, as you can see, uh, we got the noodles in the water. Uh, my daughter must be hungry because she didn't want to film that. She just wanted her and put the noodles in the water. Whatever. Anyway, a uh, little helpful hint, a little grease, a little coconut oil, or a little butter in your water. Helps keep them all them noodles from sticking. All right, 
It's a little helpful hint. All right, Joe, you ready? there was we we bought those noodles pretty much the way they were almost done and it's gonna take the rest of this water to finish cooking that up and it's gonna absorb all the flavor from that gravy we had in there making one fantastic pasta line right Joe? absolutely all right we're gonna put our lid on here let that sit for about five minutes let all that gravy absorb in the noodles should be good to go Right. One final taste test. See if we gotta add any seasoning. Sometimes those noodles will kind of absorb some of that. I think it's good. Think it's on. Think we good. Good to go. Okay. Let's let it set a few minutes. We're gonna make our plate and get with it. Sounds good. Have at it, you see what we got. You think, Cap? You all right? I think it's phenomenal. Listen, fast, quick, easy meal. Can't go wrong with it. Feed a bunch of people for a lot of days, too. So, thank you, Ms. Julia, for helping me out. Thank you for having me on the show. Anytime, baby. And uh, hope y'all enjoy it. Try it out. Tell me what y'all think. And see y'all later.